now so this is what we have done at the end of the day on our previous video and i really loved it you know it just looks really really amazing but when you take a good look at the other one i mean um the air software you know it's quite matching like the same thing and you can see it is really expanding or exp yeah it is some somehow expanding to this side so we have to do that i mean just have to make it very cute and yeah but you know you can decide to leave it for it to be something just like this or you can you know keep it <laughs> according to how you want it to be so i just want to make it just looks just like this so yeah now let's get to work i just want to put this on my other screen yeah so i can focus right here okay now all you're gonna do is just create that window right here is very important so what we're gonna do is just gonna add up a panel just a panel and um i don't think uh panel will do yeah maybe panel panel is gonna be okay yeah so um i just okay let's do this i will just duplicate this so i'm just gonna go here to the home then i copy paste this one more time then just put it away here and what i'll do is i'll just expand this a little just way up like this yeah so what i'm going to do is um these buttons are going to be required and this is going to be um hide me and change you know all all those time all those stuff so just going to make this something like this and i'll just copy paste it one more time put it here i just need only two not three right just need only to you know we can't just you know duplicate whatever they are doing you know it's not good to do that so we don't have to we don't really have to do that so just have to tweak some settings up so just, this is just going to be your ip right then i'm just going to set this color to yellow yeah and i'll just change the font style the font style to regular i think or even regular I'm just gonna use um georgia yeah we can use georgia and that can be uh georgia regular yeah somehow georgia regular it's kind of cool yeah then we set um the font size of this to maybe 10 or maybe 12 or something like that okay so 12 is good so this is going to be the ip so i'm just going to set this to maybe 12 yep and i'm just going to change the text to a default text i'm just going to use a, a random ip um okay oh come on okay all right so then we say maybe location i'm not going to use my real location here oh i've already shown my location already so i don't think it's gonna be a problem because i have already <clears throat> disclosed my location when i shown you the screen you know my ip and all that stuff but okay so yeah just want to position this way here okay and what i'm going to do is just going to copy this guy copy and paste it one more time just want to put it here and this is going to be um the server we are connected to so i'm just going to say server okay all right all right so with the server i'm just going to say smart location okay then this is going to be change right and this is going to be hide right so we have this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set this color 
um instead of this back color i'm just gonna set it up to be transparent like that then i set a border style you know something like the border style so where is the border style anyway yeah there you go so this solid is just gonna be something like um maybe um dotted solid dashes you know it really depends on what you want to do yeah so i i believe i want to maintain this and yeah yeah let's just maintain this but um i just have to set this color to a different color. Well, let's just leave it for it to be this color that's fine so what i'm gonna do is just put this down just a little then just bring this down here yeah and i'm just gonna add up <clears throat> another panel and this panel is just gonna be a just a normal panel and um just gonna set this panel color um to a gray color you know something like a grayish color just gonna set it to gray yep and i'll just extend this very very high then i set um the height to one just like this yeah so i just have a thin line to separate the two things and i really love it right this looks good so i have to just check out here just search for location i'm just gonna say location and i just pull out my um yeah so i'm not gonna use i'm just gonna use the gray color so with this location i'm actually gonna use uh let's see i'm just gonna use this guy and i need another location so i'm just gonna use this guy too then i need you know a connection or something some sort of uh, protocol or some no i'm not going to use the protocol for now you don't worry i'm just going to work on this so i'm just going to go here and just add my transparent picture box I'm just going to say trans pick just add it up here um yeah i'm just going to put it just put it here like that then i just choose it up so it's just going to be zoom choose it then i just choose the image of it so that is going to be this guy right <laughs> okay there you go then i'm just going to copy this and paste it one more time just put it here let's just change it okay so we have this right here you know we are somehow good to go but we just have to copy and paste this guy once again and what i'm gonna say is uh, i'm just gonna set this font style to um, arial yeah then i'm just gonna say let's set this font style to maybe 15 yeah then i set the bold to true yep then instead of your ip i'm just gonna say not um connected then i say your online privacy may not be protected just like this <clears throat> okay then i set the bold to true yeah then i just put it here somewhere here so yeah i i think i really love it to be simple just like this and let's set a font size to 13 13 i think 13 is good yeah so just put it here and everything looks super now good let's see what we can do here now we have to generate our own button right so i'm just gonna launch our photoshop i'm just gonna launch our photoshop since we're gonna we're gonna use our own um custom you know stuffs and all that so i'm just going to use photoshop so just let's just align this here just you know just to make it looks quite interesting now so whilst this is working i will be finding a color for this so with the background color 
think I have to use the JC color picker just to pick a color. Okay, I think this color wouldn't be bad. To, yeah. Right, so I'm just going to copy this color from the RGB. Come here, click on this guy, come to the fill color. Let's just place it with a fill color. You know, this is really cool, right? Okay, but you know, you can decide to increase um, the depth and all that. Really works fine. Nothing really fancy. So I have a Photoshop open up here. I'm just going to create a new project, and this project. It's just going to be default pixels so i'm just going to use um, 500 by 500 yeah yeah so i have a default of 500 by 500 i really love it so this is actually going to be my pattern i can decide to use a gradient button do whatever i want to do with it that is perfectly fine so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a very lazy job here um yeah um, I'm going to do a very lazy job, so I'm going to keep the button active, so I'm just going to use a snipping tool just to get the button here, you know, nothing really fancy, you just want a reference to the button, so I'm just going to copy the button, you know, just like this, you know, just like this, just want a reference from the button right here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this, yep, and i'm just gonna save this to my music folder just gonna you know rebrand this so you don't really have to worry about that so i'm just gonna go to my music folder then i just drag and drop this wig here and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna click on this guy then just make sure i select here you see so i just say i just inverted it and I just click delete, I'll undo that. So I just have to select this, then I click delete on my keyboard just to delete everything here. And I click on this also, I don't really need this guy, just gonna delete that. And the other guy too, I don't really need them. This guy too, I don't really, need. just wanna delete it. Perfect, so I just need only this. And even with this, I'll just do a lot of customization with it you don't have to hesitate yourself you know worrying here and there to do the same thing because i will be giving it to you for you to know how this is actually gonna, gonna work all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use this as a reference gradient or something like that or you can decide to use just a simple button so in my case oh shit let's just do everything from scratch else we may have problem with them so let's use just an ellip just like that just an ellip here just want to stay simple and clean and with the feel of this ellip it's not going to be uh let's choose a color so i'm just gonna um choose the colors from this base color then i choose the html i think copy that link and then just paste it right here perfect so this is the color basically that is for um yeah then i just let me just try and keep this background color really cool so have this here let's just keep this background color really cool so i'm just going to set it up to black for now so i have this so what i'm going to do is just going to add up um something like this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add up a stroke you know basically just a stroke and i'm just going to set a stroke color um you know to that color i want to use maybe this color you know, let's go up a little bit just something like this okay then let's set the stroke to something like this yeah set it something like uh you know this is good yeah see yeah this is really good so we have this button here so i, I will decide to add up a stroke and this stroke can be white it can be blue it can be any color you want to choose that's perfectly fine so with this i'm just going to set it up to two 
and I will add um yeah I think this is it so I'm just gonna go to the um, Pcon software and I'm just gonna say um disconnected like this but this time I'm just gonna set the color to white and I'm just gonna say I just need uh this disconnect guy then I drag and drop this guy here just like this to get you know the fair of it but remember that uh we will be using the pixels you know to work with them so yeah let's just get it done so this is it i just want to make it very small just to keep the color and the um, resolution well active you know you can use any of them to really work fine you know that's fine so i'm just going to go in for a text just click on the text right here yeah and i'm just gonna say connect and i'll just set this color to white then i set the font style to arial yeah you know just set it up to arial either regular bold i mean anyhow you want to choose it that is going to be fine i'm just going to use arial regular then i'll just set um i'll just set the spacing to zero since i want it to be very very clean then i just do this okay well so if you think you have this and you are okay with it you are good to go yeah so this is what i've done for the connect and you can decide to choose whatever you want to do and um yeah it's gonna be you know quite awesome so i would like to change up the color just a little bit right so i'm just going to use gradient color for this and this is how the gradient color looks so with a gradient color i'm just going to set this color to red of course like this then I set this color to the deep red. Yeah. Just, you know, something like this is cool. Then with a stroke color, that is where I choose. Um, the stroke color is actually going to be this color. You know, just the color like this. Yeah. So I really love this. Something like disconnected. So you're going to connect and it becomes green. So I'm just going to go to file, export png you know jpeg png format and i'm going to go to my music folder go to the vpn project go to resources then i'm just going to say connect so, no this is going to be disconnected disconnected yep and basically i just have to change the colors only so with the colors just click on this then you just click on the fill color just double click on this choose something like a darker green something like this yeah then we choose a different color here somehow you know like this then we say this is going to be connected okay then we just have to position it here then this is going to be connected so we're just going to say connected okay yeah okay so where can we get this connect yeah so this guy is good can just replace this guy with them yeah yeah so i think this is more sharper than this so just going to use this as connected and it is good well you you can decide to use whatever you want to use and you know it really works fine so i'm just going to export this as connected so just going to say connect third and we are done with photoshop as well good now let's get back to business get back here and now we have to just add up 
um, one picture box here you know a transparent picture box here and that is going to be our image so i'm just going to import the two images right the connect and then the disconnect open them here so i'm just going to select the disconnect for now so this is it so i have a disconnect button here and that is actually going to you know demonstrate whether it's connected or you know whether it's connected or disconnected and with the second one i just want to make it somehow very big but you know somehow quite responsive and very very genuine you know something unique just you know try to stay unique and simple just to make your project look super yep yeah just something like this excellent okay so once we have this um i just love to send this back yeah just to see this that's really good okay so we have this guy and we are done with it so we just have to go to project build and then let's build it once again just to, you know really just to make sure this is really really cool but before we do that let's just add up our drop control drag control just added something like um you know just one time then we set this to the picture control one because this is what we will be controlling and that is trans pick one so just gonna go here let's set it up to trans pick one where is this guy yeah trans pick one save this and let's rebuild the solution again yeah well once we have this we are done so we can go back to the main form you know basically sometimes when you close the form and you open up the form again it's you know picks it up you know sometimes it really picks it up there you go so we have it here now we can really click on the start <clears throat> and you will see a very nice project you see it's very very nice and you know we can do a whole lot of things with this you know, it's really really interesting we are you know kind of good to go and all that stuff so yeah let's see what we can do next again whilst we have this let's work on this sidebar it's very important you know sidebars are very important so just gonna add just a normal button and that is gonna be a, a guna button so i'm just gonna say guna this is guna title button guna gradient title button guna image button guna tile button i mean a whole lot so we can decide to use guna button and this is how guna button actually looks like right okay so we don't want to put this inside here direct so i'm just going to cut it then i add a panel since i can get full control over the panel so i'll just add a panel then i dock it inside and i paste it in here see you know it's not taking control over that again so i'll just have to work on this and i'll just set the color the background color i'll just use the jc color picker just to pick the background color of the button this is it let's just use the rgb copy this code of yeah let's come to the fill color and paste it right there so we have this color here now let's go to the text and we're just gonna say home okay let's set um let's see the font size let's make it maybe 12 yeah i think 12 is good and let's see if we can get an image somehow maybe an image related to that yeah so we have an image let's set the image to the left and with the image resources i'm just gonna load up um an image but first let's just add those image as well so i'm just gonna go back in here into the resources then i set it up i add a home button home you know i can use a gradient i can use any color i want to use you know that's completely fine so with the home i can use these guys you know just to set it up as a home so i'm just going to drag this as a home then i say globe something like globe and i will use this globe and i'll say download then 
then i use this as the download then i say um video then i use this as a video then i say maybe um friends you know something like friends or yeah so i'm just gonna use something like this as a friend and i'm just gonna say um game maybe something like a game controller or something like that so so uh let's use uh this guy here yeah okay then um yeah let's use arrow so i'm just gonna say arrow so that is actually gonna be just a simple arrow you know pointing to the um to the right something like that so i'm just gonna say right arrow <clears throat> sorry all right this guy i just want to say right arrow yeah okay so i think i can go in for this let's put it here so now let's do the work now we have to import the home button and that is going to be this guy for my home button and there you go see we have this very nice home here but um we can go ahead and then customize um this home button from here from the image we have the image size you see it's 2020 let's just make it something like 30 30 right yeah i think 30 30 is good <clears throat> 30 30 is good and let's set the text align um we have the text align so i'm just gonna set the text align instead of center just set it to left there you go that looks perfect and i would like to set um, um i think this button is going to be a radio button because we will be choosing within the buttons so let's see um let's see the images uh image align left uh, okay right so yeah i think it i think this is quite interesting and this is good so we just have to set the round, rounded corner the border radius let's set it to something like 15 yeah uh, maybe 15 is very set it up like 10 this is really good so with this we need about um we need about six of them so yeah we need about six of them so we set up we go to the custom images just open it up and let's set an image for the custom image so we're just going to use something like the arrow you know just go in for the arrow let's just import this that's going to be the arrow for this guy yeah there you go so we are good to go with that so i'm just going to copy this guy <clears throat> paste it several times yeah i'm just going to paste it several times and i'm just going to copy paste it one more time paste it yeah so yeah one more to go yep that's it good so um what should we do now we just have to call the name so there's going to be all service right and this is going to be for downloading and this is actually going to be um for streaming and this is going to be for social okay and this is going to be for gaming okay now whilst we have this we can really go ahead and then add one button at the bottom of it and we can set it up a name so i'm just going to say button let's just add just a normal button here and this button is just going to be just a default button here and i'm just going to set a fill color to orange yep then i set the text of this to activate now 
then I set a font size of this to maybe um let's see what we can do for the font size i think uh where is the font size that is the text offset no that is actually going to be from the fonts let's set it up to 12. good so we have this and we can decide to work with um you know a link label so we're just going to say link and we can use a custom link label here i'm going to use two link labels just going to set the color to control just like this and i was just set um let's just change the text of this to log login okay then let's set the font size to maybe 12 yeah i think okay so we have login guy here so I'm just going to copy and paste this one more time. And this is going to be sign up. Okay. So let's go here. Say sign up. Just like that. Excellent. So we have two guys here. Okay. So we are good to go. Now we have to add our software name. So I'm just going to add a label. Just a label, normal label. I add it up here then i change the color that is the four color to control yep then i change the text to smart smart then i say vpn let okay then i just change the font size to maybe 12 or you know, something like that yeah 12 is kind of cool then i set it up here well just like this then i'm just gonna say free just some free you know something like free or any color just want something related to free yeah just to keep it something like free oh i just have to add up a label just like this copy and paste this label here just gonna set it up to a text like uh free like this then I set the back color to, uh, you know, green. So where is the back color? Set it up to green like this. Yep. So something like this. But we, we can set um, um, the auto size to false like this. Yeah. Then we set the text align. Yep. We can set the text align to the center just to make it look super like this. Then we go up, we set a font size to 10, just to, you know, squeeze a little bit down. Like this. And that looks super excellent. So just have to push this guy here. That really looks amazing. So we have to do some couple of things. We just have to copy one of these, just bring it down here. Then what we're going to say from this guy is actually just to tell um the user that okay so already purchased just like this so if you've already purchased you just have to click on that button you know just to get your activate activation status activated so let's do one more thing just have to set all these um colors to none whilst we have this so we're just going to go here this is fail color now let's set it up to uh, transparent so we can get a feel of it yeah now all these guys we want we just want to make them something like um um this is is checked equal to false but this is checked equals true uh, okay let's just see this is check state dialog fill color hover pressed color so this is going to be the pressed color so with the pressed color we're just going to use the fill color for the pressed color right so we're just going to say pressed color is going to be this then we select all these guys then we're just going to set a pressed color so where is the pressed color where is it there you go so we're just going to set a pressed color to this that looks perfect let's just test it one more time and see how it's actually going to look like
excellent so click on it see so it's now something like this and you know the press color is you know really working fine but we simply have to make it looks like uh you know it's gonna be like the press color so let's just fix it so you just have to set this color this is the color so we're just gonna go here let's add this is the background color but we should get a press color there's a border color let's see the fill color it's not going to be transparent but let's see the press color is going to be this this is the depth uh, okay no this shouldn't be so we just have to set it up like this then okay So what we have to do is just come here and let's set this fill color to um, the transparent once again. Yeah, let's use transparent and let's just highlight everything here. And all we're going to do is um, click on this. Let's just copy this color code. Then let's copy everything here. Now let's let's just go to the um we have something called a custom check you see the check state we have a field color for the checked so we're just gonna say it's gonna be like this color now we have to select this and we we set the checked to true right so they check this for let's just just check set the check to true perfect so now let's save this click on start and you're definitely going to see a huge difference in this particular project yeah so there you go it's really nice now very very beautiful and very very interesting right okay so it really really looks nice now so yeah so this is what we have done at the end of the day and i really really love it i really appreciate it i really you know i really love it all right guys so let's do the last thing then we close for the day so let's set all these images to our preferred images then we are good to go so let's see the all service just come here and set it up to um all service so i'm just going to use this as my all service and for downloading you know for downloading i'm just going to use um the download image you know some kind of download image like this and for the streaming yep i just have to choose something like you know streaming something like uh video source and for social i'm just gonna use those little guys there yep so i'm just gonna choose those little guys just like this and yeah for gaming perfect so we are good to go now now we can start our project and see what we have done so far there you go so now everything seems to be working perfectly fine now and i really really love this i'm really in love with this design all right guys so thank you very much on our next video we're just going to see how we can start working up with a pop-up which when we click on this it's just going to pop up and ask us okay do you really want to close this or you know all those stuff we're just going to do all that until then have a nice day and ixsoft original is out